Hi, my name is Russell Ashton. I'm a senior geologist with Goliath Resources. We're currently standing on top of the Sherbet Zone, which we have right below our feet right here. We're on the Northwest Pad. If we look over down to the Southwest, we have Lake Pad, which is about two kilometers down from us. We move over to the southeast, the extension zone goes out towards J-Pad and that right now is about two kilometers from our position right now. As we move more to the northeast, New Gold is over the ridge here and it sits about one kilometer to that direction. Right in front of me here on the north face of Sherbet is the outcrop of the Sherbet zone which is about 1.1 kilometers of exposure. And that leads over to the Real Deal and Cloud Nine Fault, which are on the western edge of the property that cut north and south. We tie all those points together, we're looking at about a 5.25 square kilometer area right now that is being explored. And currently we have mineralization at all four corners and everything remains open to date. We are uh, located at Goliath Resources Gold Digger property, uh, sitting on the Sherbet Bet Zone. So right here is the inaugural channel cut that was uh, taken in the 2019 program. And the channel cut itself is what you can kind of see right here. You take a rock saw and you're actually pulling out meter sections of rock along it so you can get an idea of how the, the mineralization is actually dispersed over a larger area. And that gives you a good idea of seeing how the grade changes from mineralization that's very obvious to maybe out into the host rock that's hosting the mineralization. And so this gives you just a lot more confidence on how that grade is distributed over such an area. This channel itself, over an 8.4 meter section, we actually got up to 7.37 grams per ton gold equivalent. And within that, there was a 3.4 meter section uh, that was over 17 grams per ton gold equivalent. It's quite a rarity to find something like this. And so that really brought the excitement that we were onto something. From here, we're actually gonna go look at some of the extension zones that we are working for the 2022 program. The point of the 2022 drilling is to show how large this system is. New Gold is where we have sulfides hosted within brecciation in the Hazelton Volcanics. When we compare the core between the sediments that are hosting the Sherbet Zone and the volcanics here that are hosting this brecciation with sulfides, we see a lot of similarities. So what does it mean when we have mineralization that looks very similar over at Sherbet, as well as over here at New Gold and in the extension zone? It means that we could be looking at a very common, gigantic mineralization feeder system that is widespread and is also open in all directions. The entire team is quite excited about the fact that we may be on one of the newest, largest gold discoveries in the Golden Triangle. This area that's over five square kilometers could all be part of the same mineralization system. Okay, so right here we have some brecciation. This uh, is uh, how the mineralization that we have here is presented within the volcanics. It's very different than the Sherbet zone itself, where that's following along more of a shear zone. This is where the fluid itself has come through the rock and blasted it apart and it makes the mineralization a lot more widespread. Within the drill core that we've done at this area so far, we're intercepting up to 360 meters of mineralization within core that's still open to depth at this point. Part one of uh, Goliath's exploration story was up at the Sherbet Zone where we uh, looked at the discovery outcrop. Part two, we were over at New Gold and now we're over at part three, which is part of the Southern Extensional Zone, which we're currently drilling right now. Mineralization that we're finding here and what we find over at New Gold and in any other place where we're drilling where there's volcanics, we're seeing very similar mineralizations between textures of how the sulfides are presenting themselves, the sulfide assemblages as well. 
and the method that's carrying it through, so the, the quartz breccia that's coming through the rock. This is also adding in to our story that what we're seeing is part of a greater system. So right now we're situated just above Lake Pad. This is the most southwest extent of the mineral zone that we have drilled to date. If we look out to the east, we can see the extension zone that runs down valley, and that's where we've drilled out towards J-Pad, and mineralization to date still remains open. Up on the ridge here, we have the Cloud 9 and Real Deal Fault. These faults run over the Sherbet Ridge, and those faults actually extend all the way to the south ridge that we have over here. Part of our 2022 exploration program is to trace out this structure as well as do sampling and mapping there to help us uh, expand the known footprint of the Sherbet Zone.